Hello Mathodistas and thanks for joining us on today's interesting episode as we talk you through some very important updates at Real Madrid. On today's agenda we are going to be providing you with Real Madrid players rating versus Granada as they secured an impressive 2-0 win at the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium earlier in Saturday evening. We are going to be talking you through that on this episode, so please stay tuned right up to the end. Do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel so you do not miss on our next update. Real Madrid entertain Granada at the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium on Saturday evening and they hoped to secure a win at home in La Liga. Los Blancos made a good start to the contest and got their noses in front in the 26th minute thanks to Ibrahim Diaz's effort. Carlo Ancelotti's men went into halftime as 1-0 up on the scoreline. Rodrigo doubled Real Madrid advantage in the 57th minute. Los Blancos ended up cruising into an impressive 2-0 win at the Spanish capital in a game which was completely domin dominated by the men in white. So let's take a look at how each player performed during the clash against Granada. We'll start with goalkeeper Andre Lonin with a rating of 6.5 out of 10. Lonin didn't have a save to make in their game and kept a comfortable clean sheet at the Bernabeu. Right back Daniel Carvajal with a rating of 7 out of 10. He made two positive runs with the ball in the first half but was replaced at halftime due to a knock. Center back Dan Antonio Rudiger with a rating of 7 out of 10. Rudiger got stuck with a couple of solid tackles and would be quite happy with the clean sheet. Center back David Alaba with a rating of 7.5 out of 10. He gave a good account of himself on the defensive end of the field and was accurate with his passing. Left back Ferlan Mendy with a rating of 7 out of 10. The Frenchman dealt with the danger when needed and hardly gave away the ball. He was solid. Midfielder Brahim Diaz with a rating of 8.5 out of 10. He caused a few headaches for the Granada defenders and was responsible for scoring the opener in the 26th minute coupled with an assist later. Center midfielder Tony Cruz with a rating of 8 on 10. The German talent was positive influence in both halves and ended the game with an assist in his name. Center midfielder Federico Valverde with a rating of 6.5 out of 10. Valverde kept position moving well from midfield but lacked quality in the final third, probably due to the new role that was given to him by Carlo Ancelotti due to the absence of Aurelien Chouamini and, Aurel and uh, Eduardo Camavinga. So moving now, Jude Bellingham with a rating of 7.5 out of 10. The English playmaker managed to engineer a few promising chances for others around him but failed to register a goal or an assist. Moving on to the striking part of the game, Joselu Mato with a rating of 6 out of 10. The Spaniard struggled to threaten the opponent's goal and was substituted in the 69th minute. His striking partner, Rodrigo Goals, with a rating of 8 on 10. He caused some problems for his marker and managed to double his team's lead in the 57th minute. 
So having talked on that, we have come to the end of this episode. Thanks for following us right up to the end. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. See you next time and hala Madrid to us all.